Do you have Triple A? I have Triple A. Yes, I do. I, I, do I haven't used it very often. They have made a fortune off of me because I think I've had it about ten years, and I've called them like twice, maybe three times. My wife had a flat tire side of the road. I got it because if I'm out of town, off working, off at a ball game, and my wife has a flat, I want somebody to be able to go help her. It's worth eighty bucks a year for that. That's e- because can you imagine the wrath you would have from your wife if you were off on a guy's trip or something out fishing doing something they perceive as fun you know i try to tell them hey I, these are clients i'm we're out fishing honey it's it's work but can you imagine the wrath you're going to face if your wife is on the side of i-49 or 540 and you have no way to help her with a flat tire i'm not going down that road 80 bucks a year it's insurance it's for me baby it. insurance <laughs> brett have you ever had something like that for mrs monica as she has or yelled or screamed yeah. at you for something that you really had nothing to do with but unfortunately as the husband of the relationship yep. you just accept the wrath and accept the words of consequence and deal with it i actually did in green bay i got home one day we got off work early and i was i pulled into the driveway and she was in the garage she backed out and hit my truck oh. and she came in and she yelled at me and said it was my fault because i'm usually not home so she just turned right into my truck and banged up my door, and it was my fault, and I had to take that. Mm-hmm. Man, that's uh, that's something I have to look forward to, the, yep. the joys of you marriage. Getting this, you getting this marital advice here this yeah, morning? It's, it's beautiful. So <laughs> What you get for being at home, um, where you belong. So. Brett, you, you bring up Green Bay. This is the weirdest thing, being in the South, whether it's Texas, Arkansas, some of these southern states that haven't experienced cold like this, winter storms like this in, in quite some time. But this is nothing to you, man. This was just another day in Green Bay, Wisconsin, right? The cold actually wasn't bad. I, I got out because I was just bored yesterday and, and shoveled my driveway. Of course, I know it was going to snow again. I was like, I'll just get out and do it again. Uh, and I, I was used to that from Green Bay. Uh, but the, the weird thing was, in Green Bay, we didn't have to drip water and, and worry about losing power. I mean, th- this is actually, uh, you know, real hurtful in a lot of different states in a lot of different ways, um, more so than it is in yeah. the Midwest. I never thought, I mean, I, I never even considered, I mean, I knew the power grid because sometimes in the summer, you know, they'll have rolling blackouts because everybody's running the air conditioner when it gets 192 degrees here, which it, it that, that happens more frequently than minus 15. I never considered rolling blackouts for that, which we should, but then to get the note last night on the phone that, hey, um, we're going to have to shut down the gas service, the natural gas service to uh, X number, of, and we're going to start with businesses, that... Uh, that made me think, hmm, what's going on here, you know? It, it, exactly. And, you know, in February, we always have some cold some cold days. Um, and you think that we, you know, for the most part, a lot of people have been, been at home since last March because of the pandemic. So we, we, everybody's been at home. I don't know why they didn't have, you know, extra gas supply or what's going on. But uh, it, it's been pretty crazy and unfortunate for some people. They, uh, they've lost their lives to it. Yeah. So did you watch the game last night? I know uh, we always talk football, but you're you're a basketball guy. Uh, you you watch the games as a fan. What what did you see? What you what you think about last night's win over Florida? You know, it, it's it's great to see the guys just playing good together. Um, it, it seems like they're they're hitting their peak at the right time. That's what we always talk about. You know, with football is, is you know Tom Brady's done it for years. He's hitting the stride at the right moment, and that's what it seems like they're doing. You know, just they're stacking success and being able to just keep winning, and I think that's important for them. You know, moving forward, trying to get a, you know in a good seed in the tournament and, and, and trying to you know, make make a name for themselves. Talking with Brett Good, former Razorback, here on the Morning Rush. Brett, to jump into your wheelhouse of football, to ask you some NFL stuff coming up. But with Rashad Dubion, Dubion, however you say his name, committing to Hogs, four star running back, all purpose back out of Georgia. That's not the eighth commit that Sam Pittman has gotten out of the peach state and the highest rated to my knowledge out of state kid that Arkansas has ever gotten was Ahmad Batman Carroll I haven't known Arkansas to be able to pull in a lot of kids from Georgia is, is this a new wheelhouse that is going to be very vital for Arkansas football moving forward pulling kids out of Georgia well, first of all, it's fresh. You know, he, he's recently been in Georgia and coaching, so you hope that you can sustain it um, because cause it's big for us to be able to do that and have that relationship. And from the looks outside looking in, it, you know, Coach Pittman has made those, those long-lasting relationships with, with high school coaches 
And that's what gets you, you know, in the door for a lot of these families. And so they trust him. You know, they know that he, he's going to do right by them. So it, it could be very long-term for him. And, and that would be huge for Arkansas uh, to be able to get some extra, you know, extra commits that we typically don't get. Um, and, and that's good for Arkansas football moving forward. Let's ask you some NFL stuff. J.J. Watt, this was reported from Pro Football Talk, might end up a Cleveland Brown. Now, Tommy and I were discussing earlier, if you're trying to win a Super Bowl, Cleveland is not the destination. To me, it's your old place, stopping grounds in Green Bay. It's Tampa Bay. It's Buffalo. It's KC. Coincidentally, the four teams that were in the AFC and NFC Championship. Brett, if you're J.J. Watt and it's not about money at this point, where are you trying to land? I, I would either play, honestly, in Green Bay or Pittsburgh. You know, you play with family, you play where, you know, you grew up and you, you play college football um, because they, they love him in the state of Wisconsin, but I know that they love him, you know, there at Pittsburgh as well. But, you know, sometimes it goes down to a money thing, and then he looks at last year where, you know, Pittsburgh really didn't do a whole lot in the playoffs, even though they had a good record. You know, they just they kind of dwindled over the way. Mm-hmm. And, and Cleveland has a good defense. They're known for having a good defense. And, and a lot of guys, I think that he was – the number one double team defense alignment last year. And when you have that and you want to play in another good defense that so that somebody else gets double teamed then kinda of opens up and you can kind of continue your career of getting stacked. So that may be for him. Yeah. You know, when you look at a at a guy like Watt who's made a ton of money already as as a pass rusher coming off the end, I don't know that he's at the end of his career, but he he starts seeing it from where he's at. What's the appetite like with these guys to you know, New England did a good job of getting guys that kind of fit this mold to come there, take less money because, hey, we can give you a chance to win a ring. Uh, what do you think the appetite for a guy like this is? And when when you see it, you know, um, how hard is that for some of these guys to, to make that choice that, hey, I'm going to move from one city to the other, to from one team to the next, just to put myself in a position, a better position, to win a Super Bowl? It's huge because if you look at the history of a lot of players, they always go at the ring. They always say, well, he's a great player. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame, but he didn't win a ring. Mm-hmm. And, and they always go back to that. And so players are, are generally trying to do that. Um, you look at you know, Nama Kinsu, you know, did that with Tampa Bay. And, and, and Evans has already said that he'll take a, a pay cut to keep Tampa Bay the same and, and to get more firepower there. And, and so – as these guys get older in their career, they always want to want to get to that point. Especially JJ. JJ's had a ton of injuries over the years, and, and he's a Hall of Fame player. Um, but because he's been disruptive, you know, he's had interceptions, four fumbles, and, and everybody's known him when he's on the field. But they've also known him when he's been hurt. So he's trying to find a place to stay healthy and have a chance to win a ring because that kind of solidifies his Hall of Fame career. We haven't talked to you uh, since we saw some video of the Tampa Bay boat parade in which the Lombardi went airborne from Brady to Gronk. Uh, what was the wildest thing, or what's the thing you remember most from, from your Super Bowl celebration in the parade and the kind of the, the, the team celebration? But did, the, did, the, did, the, did the Lombardi get airborne at any point? The Lombardi did not get airborne there. At, Over uh, a body of water. <laughs> Lombardi Avenue. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we, we had it. You know, there's a lot of, uh, obviously, everybody you know, kisses the trophy. Um, we had a great time. I think that when we had our parade, you know, it was at the stadium. It was a sellout, and it, you know, the snow had just come through. We had a big blizzard, obviously, in Green Bay. So we sat out, outside for, you know, a better part of an hour and a half to two hours. So we, and we had a couple of cocktails. So we ended up paying some, some guys to take their shirts off and run and do belly flops into the snow um, <laughs> on the field. So that was fun. But we definitely, uh, definitely didn't throw the Lombardi. Ty got shirtless here in the studio earlier this week. I wonder what it would take for Ty to go shirtless and do the do the belly slide out in front of the studio this morning. A little bit of cash, cold hard. Little cash. bit. We got a little bit. Snow angel. He's a shirtless face down snow angel, and yeah. that just for, just for the station. I mean, he's got to do it for the you know for the yeah, for the for, for the, the brand, cred yeah. for the brand is for the social media cred. Pat Mac, Pat yeah. Mac, Mac likes to say, um, Brad, did you see? Speaking of the celebration that Tommy just brought, did you see that the constructor of the Lombardi Trophy's daughter is still irate at Tom Brady and Gronk for Tom for throwing it across and Gronk for rubbing his butt with it. He's got nine more. I mean, if, if he loses it, he's got plenty to replace it with, right? Well, and, and that's what I told my wife. You know, you, you think about Gronk getting the one there in New England and it, it's it's permanent. And I can see her, her side of it. 
you know, you put a lot of time and effort in, into making something like that, and you think it could obviously fall to the, yeah. to the bottom of the water, and you don't want that to happen. But, you know, for those guys that, that have been there, you know, year in and year out over their career almost, yeah. and to do that, they're just, they're just enjoying it, and they're having fun with it. And, you know, I think that's what one thing that Tom does now is he really tries to enjoy those moments. Well, he's won seven of them, so, I mean, it's kind of old hat for him to get to. So it's just so weird to see Tom Brady – uh inebriated you know just it's so out of out of mold from what we're seeing from perfectly always perfectly presented tom brady i thought it was i thought it's fun to see him be you know human it, it was and, and you know what's crazy about that is he, he even posted a picture that he's back to work you know a couple of days later so tom, tom is very you know structured and, and on everything that he does and it shows you that you can still go out and ha- you know have fun but you know, for a guy like him, he, he's back on his avocado ice cream, and I think he's putting the, what, he, what he called the avocado tequila, yeah. uh, putting it away for a little while. So have, you ever, have you ever had avocado tequila? I have had a lot of tequila, but I haven't had avocado tequila. <laughs> Speaking of tequila, I remember when we went to Cabo, they have these soap spouts, Brett, in your room that have liquor in them, and one said tequila, one said rum, one said whiskey. We're in Mexico, and it was just all tequila. They just put the exact, like, all the same tequila in each thing. So, uh, memories, memories to be vacationing again. Can't wait to start doing that. Brett, we appreciate your time as always on a Wednesday, buddy, and we will uh, talk with you in a little bit. First, we want to tell about what's going on right now. Yeah, you know, Brett's visit with us here every Wednesday is brought to you by Henderson Phillips Employer Solutions. Uh, bet Bet you hadn't gotten to talk to a lot of folks about insurance, but I bet a lot of people are thinking about insurance for their buildings, their homes, other places with all these uh, threats of bursting pipes. And you're wondering, hey, is that covered by my insurance? Whether it's that or you're the person at work in charge of the health insurance, the retirement plans, the employee benefits. Hey, you're the guy to call to make sure you're covered on all of those bases. That's right. We can handle everything. We're sort of wrapping up a couple of employee benefits for some people, and, and we've been telling our clients, you know, getting out there on the road, this is a uh, this is full coverage weather. So yeah. uh, if you don't have full coverage on your car, uh, you need to be sticking at home and trying to stay warm. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, with, with everything that's gone on the last year, people think about life insurance. And you, you can do that both group life for a company or, a, you know, just an individual term or whole life policy for someone listening this morning. That's right. We can take care of any, any life insurance needs they have. You know, there's nothing... Nothing greater to show your love and appreciation for your family is to take care of them. You know, it's just, it's not a bunch of money to, to provide for them a tax free benefit um, if you were unfortunately, you know, passed away. I'm afraid they'd spend all of mine on avocado tequila at my <laughs> house. 479 651 2292. 651 2292. That's your cell phone. You can call or text that number uh, anytime. You'll get back with them. Anytime, day or night, we answer it 24 7. All right, Brett Good, Henderson Phillips, Employer Solutions. Uh, have fun shoveling the snow. I will. It's going to be a good one. Stay warm. All right, guys.